Hey everybody, Jeremy here. So today I got a tech review for you. I'm gonna be reviewing a power adapter, but it gets better, trust me. It's made from this company called VoltMe. It came in this box and this is the Revo 140 PD 3.1 Gallium Nitride Charger. And here is what that charger looks like. Now it's very unassuming looking, but what it's capable of is really quite interesting. I think it can be really useful to a lot of people. So I'm gonna tell you all about it and I do wanna thank Vote Me for sending this to me so that I could give you an honest review about it and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now this is a 140 watt charger. So what does that even mean? It means that instead of carrying around something like this when you're going on vacation or a business trip or something because you have multiple devices, phones, laptops, and, and tablets, you can just carry this and the compatible USB cables to charge your devices. Now, how it works is on the back of it, there are three USB slots. There's two USB-C ports and there's one USB-A port. And once you plug this into a regular standard wall outlet, you will be able to charge up to three devices at once. And each of these slots provides a certain amount of wattage in order to charge your devices as quickly as they're capable of being charged. So for example, if you put a USB-C cable into this first slot, it has a computer over it, then that means that the charger will be able to push out 140 watts of power into whatever is connected to. Now, chances are, your laptop or your phone or whatever is not gonna be capable of actually charging at 140 watts. For example, this phone here, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3, can super fast charge at about 25 watts. So that's automatic super fast charging with this. And if you plug in a second USB-C cable, then the adapter will intelligently split the wattage. So then you'll get 65 watts from the first USB-C port and 65 watts to the second USB-C port, which is still enough for most devices to charge as quickly as they can. And last, for the USB-A port, remember those? When you plug that in, you get 22 and a half watts of charging. You're charging all of your devices at the same time with just one charger, and chances are you're gonna be able to charge them as quickly as the manufacturer will allow those devices to charge. And you do all that just with this. It's pretty amazing. Chances are if all you're doing is charging phones and then computers, <laughs> You don't even have to worry about that because you're gonna be getting more than what you need to charge your stuff as quickly as possible. But let me show you a real world example of this charger in action. So here I have three of my most frequently used devices. This is the Google Pixel 6, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3, and the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3, which is capable of being charged via USB-C. So I'm gonna take this charger and I'm just going to plug a USB-C cable into the very first slot. I'm going to take this and plug it in to the side of my futon and I'm just going to plug in my phone. Cord is a little bit short but you can see there it says that it is charging rapidly and that is going to be full in one hour, 26 minutes. All right, so we got fast charging on the Google Pixel 6. Next thing I'm gonna do is take another USB-C cable and I'm gonna plug this into the second slot on the charger and I'm gonna plug in the Z Fold 3. You see on the Z Fold 3, it says that it is super fast charging. That's the fastest that it can go. And lastly, I'm gonna plug in this USB-A cable, and then on the other end, which is USB-C, I'm gonna plug it into the side of the Surface Laptop 3. So as you can see, even though the computer is plugged in, 
it's not even charging. And the reason for that is the USB-A slot only provides 22 and a half watts of charging power, and that's not enough for this laptop. The standard Surface charger that comes with this computer is a 65 watt charger, but that's not a problem here. All we have to do is just swap the cables. So I'll just unplug this one, and I will unplug the one that's connected to the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold. And I'll just plug the Z Fold charger into the Surface. And then the Surface cable, or the, sur the cable that was connected to the Surface, I'll just plug that into the phone. And now, as you can see, the battery is charging. And then the phone, although it lost its fast charging capability, it's still being charged at this point. So as you can see, the laptop is now charging. It's at 27% and it's gonna be full in an hour and three minutes, which is the same as if I was using the regular charger that came with it. The Pixel 6 is still fast charging. And then the Galaxy Z Fold is not fast charging anymore because it's connected to that USB-A port and it's not giving it enough power in order for it to initiate a fast charge. But they are all still charging at the same time. And if you wanted to charge three devices at the same time, at least you got two of them that's charging rapidly and one that's charging at a regular speed. And of course, if you only have two devices, you can just plug in two USB-C cables, one to the computer, one to your phone. We still got the fast charging on the Pixel 6, or if I plug in the Z Fold, I now have super fast charging on the Z Fold. And then over on the Surface laptop, I am now at 29%. And once it calculates how much time we have left to charge, you'll see that it is an hour and 13 minutes before it is fully charged again. It's that simple and it's that darn effective. You know, I never really thought too much about chargers in the past. I usually just use whatever the manufacturer gives me. And if I run out of room, I just get a power strip and just make it work. But after testing this for the past week, week and a half, I gotta tell you, this is really convenient to have. It's great to be able to just use one of these and not have to worry about keeping up with these chargers. If I go somewhere, if I go to visit my parents, I gotta make sure that I have two chargers for my kids' tablets, and one charger is already kind of lost. I'm not sure where that one went, but with this one, I don't have to worry about carrying multiples. All I have to do is just get this and then get the cables, and it's all done. And it takes up just one spot on my power strip, one spot on my wall, frees up space for me to put something else there. I gotta say, it's pretty cool. It's really cool. And I don't even think I mentioned the price, but this one you can find on Amazon and it is $100. So if that's in your budget for a charger to save you some convenience, especially if you move around a lot, you travel a lot and you just don't wanna have a whole bunch of adapters and, and, and all that other stuff weighing down your bag or getting tangled up with other stuff, then you may want to give this Volt Me charger a try. So again, thank you Volt Me for sending this out to me for, so that I can test it out. It's been really awesome. So that's it, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want more tech content like this, be sure to leave a like, a comment, and or subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you later.